This is a template for you to capture anything that emerges using the liberating structure one to four all. It um, has basically three blocks of content um, going from left to right, uh, and briefly orient you. The first content block is um, some facilitators notes for all of you who are considering using this liberating structures together with a virtual whiteboard like Miro. Um, it has some suggestions how you could set up your canvas in advance, how you can lead the structure and um, some general considerations using one to for all um, because it's a vers very versatile structure, you can either use it to um, narrow things down or to open up um, perspectives. Then, uh, in case you are leading the structure, um, there are frames uh, with examples how each um, of the... Um, Com components of the template uh, help you achieve um, a collection of data that you generate using liberating structures. And um, briefly walk you through it. Um, let's go there. So here, is an example and um, some guidance, if you like to, um, how you intro introduce the um, working with a template to your group. Then uh, it goes the, the process steps of one to for all and um, how it would look like um, in the next step and so forth. And then it uh, links you to the actual template. So the actual template um, is going from the um, work, it's going from the outer circle inward. So um, the outer circle has uh, individual um, spaces for um, people who are working individually. Then uh, the intention is that you move the individual circles into another um, area that is designed to um, host two of those individual circles. And then um, you combine two of these elliptic spaces um, into um, a in space like that and capture some things you want to share with all. Yeah. And um, of course, and that's um, honestly some of the, or in most cases, I'm, I'm doing the first two steps. So the individual step and the um, step where you share in pairs. I do those um, without a virtual whiteboard because it takes time to, um, to capture and write everything. And I just start um, the work on the Miro um, in the last or in the last two steps uh, for the four sums and the um, sharing with all. And um, in facilitators notes, you'll find some considerations what outcomes this generates. Um, Spoiler, it, if, if you're doing all steps um, using a whiteboard, of course, you get a lot more um, data and potentially more variety. And um, you might want to plan in some time to for the group to digest that or work with it. So let's evolve the liberating structures practice using virtual whiteboards. I'm curious what emerges. Mm -hmm.